Now, this week, I went back to the farmer's market, and not only did I get a watermelon, I got a pineapple, too. Y'all, honestly, between pineapple and watermelon, I don't know which one I love the best. Y'all, comment down below and let your girl know. If you had to choose between the two, which one you choosing, pineapple or watermelon? Now, I'm not sure if I'm the only one that do this, but y'all, when I'm choosing my pineapples, it has to be going bad in a few spots, because y'all, every time I chose a pineapple that was just so perfect and didn't have have any brown spots on it y'all that be the nastiest freaking pineapples don't nothing be sweet about but when i get them and they look a little old and have brown spots all on them baby that pineapple be too good and sweet now y'all your girl love to go for the underdogs when i seen this watermelon and it was looking deformed a little bit it got a little crook in its side i was like oh yeah they counted you out but i bet you you probably the best watermelon that's over here and baby when I tell you this watermelon didn't disappoint. Now the watermelons that I done had in the past, they was pretty good. But when I tell you, I ain't not nail one of them touching this. Now y'all let me know if I'm wrong or not. Anybody who has ever cut up a watermelon know that cutting up a watermelon is some work. A few people was in my comments last time telling me that I was wrong for taking the heart out the watermelon. Honey, if I sit here and struggle with this watermelon, you don't go right. I'm gonna get the best piece of these. But let me know, am I wrong? Now y'all, apparently your girl been cutting the watermelons up wrong. So comment down below and give your girl some tips on how you be cutting your watermelons up. Shoot, it's all gonna go down the same way. Now y'all, give me a few ideas in the comments of what to do with the rinds of the watermelons when I'm done with them. Because y'all, I just be throwing them away. Y'all told me to try some tahini, honey, lemon, and salt on my watermelon. Y'all know TikTok made me do it. Now I reached for that tahini first because, honey, I was excited to try that with myself. Now that first I took my taste buds for a look. So we gonna have to run that one back with a little bit more tahini on it. And baby, it was so good to your girl. We gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10. Now y'all told me to try this out, but I know I won't be trying that on the regular. Girl, I ain't trying to be in nobody hospital. Actually, y'all did y'all big one with that one. 8.5 out of 10. Now I remember this little combination right here went viral on TikTok. But baby, let's see if y'all was capping or not. Mm, 5.5, it was all right. Yeah. We got the limit. Now I was super excited for this one because I lemon really do for watermelon after that first bite i was like hold on wait a minute honey your girl had to go in for another one that lemon and watermelon combo i rated it a nine but it's really tens across the